The most powerful solar flare of the year erupted recently, and NASA is calling it a spring fling for the sun after it leaves its calm period and heads to probably the peak of its activity as we head the end of its 11-year cycle. I don't know how afraid to be about this. You shouldn't I mean, be that afraid. Obviously, these solar flares happen all the time. Yeah. Um, they are, this one was uh, medium. Mm -hmm. So I'm guessing lower level ones. Well, it was an M-class solar flare, which M -class. is the, high, the lowest amount that the sun can unleash that will affect um, things on Earth, like cause solar aurora borealis, weather and, okay. solar weather, maybe knock out communications, radio. X-class is the highest amount, and X-class sounds fucking badass. Uh, slash terrifying. Slash terrifying. Now, um, <laughs> so the scientists are, they know about these, they're predicting them, they can see them coming, they catch them off guard. Well, Whoops. they did actually film some of the solar flares. This is from NASA's Solar Dynamics Observatory, and they yeah, have so footage always filming this of one. this powerful M6.5 class flare. Still sounds cool. Let's take a look at some space porn. So, that is the sun and the little things rising. Yeah! Up. Okay, that was scary, and that was a video editing technique. Uh, <laughs> I hope. What happened when the sun did that? Well, I don't know why it was moving like that, but this is to highlight the flares. And so is that zooming in. Look at the sun! Okay, so that was an M class solar. Flare. M 6.5. Sunstorm. That is a sunstorm. Okay. Sun it's a mid-level flare on the scale of solar tempests, and it coincided with an eruption of a super hot solar plasma known as the coronal mass ejection. Make your sex joke now. I'm waiting. It's <laughs> <That's> a <laughs> lot kidding. of pressure. I'm kidding. It's a lot of pressure for a sex joke. Yeah. Um, uh, so we don't have to worry about that. That's fine. The radio went out, and it was like what? Like it was at 3:16 a.m. Yeah, for us. Okay. So. Uh, this is probably going to happen. It's been known to knock out some GPS communication devices and whatnot. So if your GPS suddenly doesn't work, this may be a possible reason why, but it also could be that your GPS sucks and so does your provider. Because that's the thing in disaster movies. Sometimes sun spots and flares. And, and sometimes disaster movies are just fucked up shit. I'm just like, saying, like we were talking about it. It's supposed to be the, the cataclysm from. Assassin's Creed. Assassin's you know, Creed in the movie it's 2012. It's a popular device. Destroys the whole planet. Yeah, well, it's 2013 and we're all good, even though we are reaching the end of the sun's 11 year cycle. Like, I can run away from a tsunami. I can, like, not live near the ocean. I can not live near earthquake centers. There's nothing I can do to get away from sun flares. That's that, the whole earth. That's true. But you're probably going to be How okay. How worried should you be, America and rest this of the world? This is not sensational lo lo local news, and you're going to be fine. And it might even be cool, and we could get some more cool footage, a.k.a. Space, space porn. porn.